Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start this video with Starlink satellites update. We have three Starlink satellites re-entered Earth atmosphere in the last two days. The first one, Starlink 2306, re-entered August 21st at 6 p.m. UTC. The second one, Starlink 1322, re-entered yesterday, August 22 at 1.43 a.m. UTC. The third and the last one, Starlink 1469, re-entered yesterday too at 9.33 a.m. UTC. And today's Super Heavy Booster 7 moved out of the Mega Bay and moved to the orbital launch site. Here we can see the positioning of the booster and the chopsticks arms. Few hours later, it's showtime. We saw the first lifting for booster using the chopsticks. Raptors version 2 looking amazing with less pipes and wires compared to version 1. And we have 33 Raptors installed. Now booster 7 is mounted on the orbital launch mount. I can't wait to see the next static fire test. All thanks to La Padre for this amazing 24-7 live coverage. I hope in the near future SpaceX can work with Tesla on new software, not full self-driving software, but full self-stacking software. Or maybe they are already working on it. You never know with Elon Musk, everything is possible. From SpaceX to NASA, this is Jupiter, observed in ultraviolet by Hubble Space Telescope. And we have new picture of Jupiter's North and South Poles by James Webb Space Telescope near CAM, which has three specialized infrared filters. And from NASA to Stock Space, Stock Space team working on the second stage. They conducted spin test. Unfortunately, we don't have the testing videos. And we have this beautiful view, or we can say little tour, captured from Tiangong Space Station using the robotic arm camera. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.